Ta da! You know, one of the classic great mobiles. Fun. Should have a lot of fun with it. Yeah. Well, I was just running the uh, numbers on the on the turtles. Uh huh. And what's crazy, we know of uh, three nests, and the numbers don't work. There's supposed to be 20 days between each nest. Huh. And the numbers work for the first, third, and now the fourth nest. There's 20 days between each of those. Huh. The number two nest uh, doesn't fit in properly. It's uh, like uh, 10 or 16 days from the previous nest. Uh -huh. And uh, what that means is there's probably another turtle involved. And it would appear we had thought that the second nest was the most legitimate nest, if you will. Uh -huh. it, it seemed to have the qualities of a, of a, a proper nest. Uh -huh. But with the observation last night of seeing the turtle, this is a turtle that they call Orion that they were expecting. Uh -huh. And so we know then that the nest last night was from Orion and the numbers match like I said, the first and third nests. Uh -huh. So by implication, those nests are also Orions. And the number two nest doesn't fit the bill, so it's probably not Orion's nest, and it's uh -huh. probably the second turtle's nest. Uh -huh. uh, Curious, huh? And then also it suggests that there's a nest missing, if you will. Uh -huh. if, if, the, if the second turtle premise is correct, then there should be a nest uh, July 6th or 7th, huh. and where that nest is, no one knows at this point. Uh -huh. So, uh, curious, so curious. And also, there's another nest. I had reports of tracks over on Little Beach, uh -huh. and um, those correspond with the 20 days from nest two. Uh -huh. So that could be another nest of the second turtle. Uh -huh. It fits, uh -huh. and it doesn't fit with the Orion turtle. Uh -huh. So um, anyway. <laughs> so how did Orion get that name? Was, there's a history there somewhere. Well, yes, and uh, they've been watching this particular turtle for, well, some years. The part I know about is this is the turtle that came in here four years ago uh -huh. and put down five nests, four on Big Beach and one on Little Beach. Uh -huh. And uh, they already had it named at that point. So I think, if I remember correctly, I was told that uh, one of the turtle watchers was wor working with this turtle prior to that uh -huh. and somehow came up with the name. I see. All right, I believe these are the turtle tracks from the turtle coming up the beach. And you can uh, tell that by its flippers push back against the sand uh, in the impressions. That's where it was pushing against. Also note the tail drag in the middle of this thing. Uh -huh. And so that, uh, that goes uh, down the beach or mm -hmm. up the beach. This is where the turtle came in. Uh -huh. And behind us is where the turtle went back. I see. And uh, the base of the impression is this way. And then again, you see the tail drag. And it went right down to the ocean. Now today, is, uh, this turtle uh, made this impression last night. July 20. We believe this to be Orion, a turtle that's uh, last nested here on Big Beach uh, four years ago and put down four nests on Big Beach and one nest on Little Beach. Now, uh, this year we know of four nests based on the numbers. Uh, there should be a 20 day space between them. One of these nests uh, is doesn't mesh right. Huh. So I believe there's a second turtle. 
and I believe three of the nests, including this one, I believe were made by the same turtle or rock because the turtle people actually saw that turtle come in. Mm -hmm. How many babies do they have? Uh, they can put down uh, 150 to 190 wow. eggs in their nest. Wow. Now those, uh, the nest will hatch in 60 days. Uh -huh. And uh, the survival rate varies. I've seen nests come off with uh, 160, 170, just about everybody makes it. Wow. Other times, uh, for various reasons, some of them get stuck in the nest and die and don't get out of the ground. Mm -hmm. And the mortality rate can be, uh, can be very high. activity. The nest may be there. I see something else over here which is probably, I heard there was some false nests uh -huh. and that's probably what these are. And the So they dig a hole, and do they fortify it in any way, or how does their turtle nest look? No, uh, they scoop out, they'll put a, uh, a hole down that they, with their hind flippers uh -huh. to a depth of uh, probably over two feet. Uh. Maybe, uh. I'm going to say 28 inches. Okay. And then they, as far as I know, they just... Uh, well, they cut that hole and then they drop their eggs in there and then they kick the dirt back over it. Uh -huh. And uh, the material I've read said the humpsback, uh, hawksbill, humpsback, <laughs> humpsback turtle. <laughs> the hawksbill turtle comes in and often uh, references to a wood stump or something uh -huh. and uses that as a, a location point. Uh -huh. But I have seen them uh, make them out in the open dunes, if uh -huh. you will, and uh, another vegetation. How long does it take to gestate? Uh, it'll be 60 days from the date that the eggs oh, wow. were put down to mm -hmm. hatching. So two months. Mm -hmm. And we can put that on our calendar. Mm -hmm. And the turtle watcher people will be down here keeping a very close eye on the nest at that time, mm -hmm. prior to, and, and uh, hope to catch them coming out. Mm -hmm. And then uh, they will dig the nest and I think they're digging at day 70. Uh -huh. The turtle should be out at that time. Uh -huh. and they'll go in and they'll check on it, and uh, if there's some still in the nest, they'll help them out or uh -huh. whatever. Oh, cool. cool. Thank you. So mounds right here. The track is over to the right here. Totally interesting. Yes, that's, uh, well, that's another location. That may actually be the nest there. Mm -hmm. 